Hello and welcome to another video from the Micro Rooster. Today's topic is custom URLs, specifically attributes and attribute forms. The idea is you can create in your schema attributes that can use custom URLs embedded in them, such as this report that I've created with the country names, but I've added a Google link in the URL that allows me to click on any of them and go there. So how did I do this? Uh, if I look at the attribute that I've created, I'm just going to show you quickly. It's got the country ID, but it's also got a form that uses the apply simple formula that embeds the URL in it at runtime and chooses the country name as well. So how do I create this URL? Let's go to our notepad and work on that. Just one thing to remember, this is an HTML tag, not a URL tag. URL is for data that's coming from a column, but this is not coming from a column. This is a, an apply simple formula. So we use the HTML tag for this type. All right, so after we define the attribute, you always wanna make sure you update your schema before testing out any attributes. So let me show you the code and how to create the code. First thing, we're using an apply simple because we're embedding uh, external code to MicroStrategy. We're gonna use the comma to separate the attribute that's gonna be uh, selected dynamically at runtime from the row. And what do we need on the other side? We need the quotations, the double quotations. Everything in between the double quotations uh, has to go in a single quotation. And now the HTML code or tags go in here, which is uh, the A signs and the, the closing and opening. And then in between, we can type some more. If we're gonna add a link, we're gonna make it next to the A, we're gonna put a space and put the href equals HTTP, etc. Just the HTML code here. If you don't know the code, you just can copy it. I'm gonna copy everything before Spain here. And I'm gonna just paste it over. <clears throat> now I need this to be dynamic. So what do I need to do? I need to use the, I need to break out of my uh, uh, code with single quotes and add the uh, pound zero, which represents the first uh, uh, value that's, or the value that comes from country name in this case, because it's the first one, it takes zero. If I want it to be labeled, I can label type a label here like a static label, or I can remove the single coat, keep the plus signs, and make it dynamic by adding the attribute back in. You need the plus sign before and after any of these items. Remember, single coat to break out, plus signs to uh, add anything else, but in some cases you might need, depending on our database, you, may, you might use the and sign or the uh, plus, Etc. There's different characters depending on your database, and just make sure you know everything's typed correctly before you use this, and then you can copy it, paste it in your uh, attribute form. Okay, let's talk about the second or the first uh, demo that I showed you, is which is an. Uh, internal static target. This is similar to the first report, but in this case, I want to target a report. So everything else stays the same, but instead of the HTML code with, with HTTPS, we're going to use the property of the report. So I'm going to go to the property from the web. That's the easiest way to get this. I'm going to right click and copy link address. And I'm going to go back to my pad and just paste the ID. If you're not sure how to create those uh, internal uh, uh, internal links, you can use see my other video about custom URLs where we discuss them thoroughly. But here I'm just uh, reusing the property and I'm just using the correct report ID. If I had a dashboard ID, I could use a dashboard ID equals etc. But remember, you have to change the uh, event in this case. All right. So here's my new report or the externally internally linked. 
And here it is linking to our target report, which produces more data or different data of our choice. Now, the only thing you have to realize that because this is a, it was not prompted that any time I click on one of these items, it's going to drill to the same level of detail. So it's not going to discriminate between the different countries that I'm selecting. So how do I make it more dynamic? I need to add a, the prompt answers. So something simple like value prompt answers uh, will help me integrate that part. What, which means that the target also has to be prompted. Let's show the report. This is the report that I need to create a prompt for. So let's create a simple value prompt based on the country in our example. We're going to use an attribute qualification and we're going to choose the country. If you type it in, you can search for it that way. All right, so I'm going to use the description, not the ID. And I'm going to prompt with a simple prompt. And the simple prompt that I want is the country value or the country name. Once I'm done, I'm going to close this, save it. Typically, I recommend that you make your uh, reports non-cacheable when you're testing so you don't hit old caches. All right, so I'm going to test this. And here it is, the country name. You can type a name. And see if it works. Yes, it does work. Great. Let's close this or save it. And now I can go and test it in the web again, see how it works. So I'll make sure that I copied the right ID. All right, if I didn't, I just copy over it and paste it. So I already embedded this and let's test it out. So here it is, the different states, but now it's going to filter by my selection. So if I click USA, I'm only going to get USA passed on to the target. This is pretty cool, actually, because you can link multiple uh, reports or multiple external links just from something simple like this. This can be a lot more complicated, but I'm just trying to keep it simple. You can use the target equals blank to open a new pages as we showed in the internal and the external uh, targets. You can also use uh, or add multiple uh, values, for example, if I want to pass any selection plus the United States, so that way I'm always getting the USA. I'm adding it right here. But this is just extra prompting uh, options that you have in the Apply Simple. You can also add static uh, values, like something which is a result of a previous pass. It's rare that you need that, but when you do need it, it comes in handy. This way you can pass something from an internal SQL uh, code. Also, uh, if you need more information about how to create these prompts or how to create fancier uh, code, refer to our other video. Thank you again for coming and hope you enjoyed this quick video.